Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Longstaborn, but built for the part news. It's 2020! Happy New Year guys. Uh, share your Happy New Year's in the comments down below if you want to as well. Um, and yes, it's 2020. We're here. The countdown to the start of the 2020 season in March kicks underway today. Um, three months, or around three months, until the start of the season. Um, it's going to be, and that, that's including this month by the way, this is going to be an incredible 2020 season, we've got plenty of projects, um, sometime in March we've got our analysis videos to come, uh, so that should be pretty cool, um, but please like the video if you've loved it, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, let's get into the video. I'm going to talk more about the new intro um, that's coming to the channel for the 2020 season in a little bit. But let's talk about the main process of this video, and that is Europa Park. It's a good park to start on this year. Um, and their Pirates in Batavia rebuild. Now, of course, if you didn't know already, it's a pirate-themed dart ride. It's been described as one of the best dart rides in Europe. Uh, it burned down back in July 2019, uh, and it's been completely rebuilt. The Scandinavian area has been rebuilt. You've got the brand new dart ride Snorri Torum. Uh, that is in the basement of Scandinavia. That opened uh, just a month, about a month or so ago, around about a month or so ago. Um, so that was a new attraction for the area. Uh, and of course, the main sort of re part of the rebuild is, of course, 2020 and the rebuilded Pirates in Batavia. Now, we knew it would pretty much remain the same, but just update the animatronics, you know, bring in like the moving animatronics instead of like the still images, uh, just to give it a, a more modern touch. But the whole outlook and things like that, and the whole sort of story around the ride pretty much stays, well pretty much is remaining the same. Obviously they released a teaser video to sort of talk about the storyline of the ride. Uh, again, looks really, really cool. Uh, but, one thing that got released uh, recently is of course the, a new concept artwork for one of the scenes in the ride. Now, we had this sort of same situation uh, back in 2012 when uh, Valhalla was going through that refurbishment of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Obviously, it's going through a new refurbishment now. It's going to be closed all the way through this year, ready for 2021 at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But it was that same kind of thing where one of the artworks for one of the rumoured new scenes in the ride. Now, this artwork for one of the new scenes in the refurbished Pirates in Batavia at Roper Park shows a battle scene between the fictional characters Robermond and Cortez. Now, I'm going to share that image on your screen now. Fandabadozzi, a look at that image. Doesn't it look absolutely stunning? Um, yeah, it just looks brilliant. The, the level of detail that's gone into that scene is fantastic. Um, and I feel like Europa Park really are treating this refurbishment with the utmost respect. They're keeping it true to the original ride. Because uh, it shouldn't have perished in the way that it did. But, unfortunately, these things happen. Um, but... Europa Park is staying true to the original, uh, but they're, so, they're, they're bringing in that modern dark ride touch, aren't they? With the brilliant artwork, the brilliant animatronics, the brilliant lighting. Um, you know, I've seen POVs of the original before it burned down. Um, and like I said, I think with this new one, I think we're not going to see much difference from the original. It's just updating it uh, and keeping it fresh. So... Yeah, I think Europa Park really are doing a good job with this. Um, now, one big thing to mention is they've started putting some of the water in. I know Michael Matt released something on Twitter uh, that we're going to start putting the water in and stuff like that, um, which is very, very cool. Um, I saw that video, and it just gets me so, so, so excited. Europa Park has been a big bucket list park for a while now, for so many years, ever since you know Blue Fire came in in 2009, and then ever since you've had... Uh, Voden in 2012, which the GCI. Um, you had Arthur in the Minimoy's Kingdom with the Mac inverted spinning coaster, dark ride concept uh, that opened in 2014. Um, you've had things, even the smaller attractions like Beautiful Europe, that's just so simple. You just lay on, you just lay down and you see projections or stuff on the, on the ceiling. So simple, but such a good attraction. Obviously, the park is rumoured a new roller coaster. There's still rumours going about that Eurosat 
uh, uh, sorry, Euromia, sorry, Euro Neurostat. Eurostat's already been through the refurbishment. Euromia is rumoured a refurbishment, uh, and apparently that's set to close at the end of this year, or sometime this year. Uh, so, uh, interesting rumours from there. We've reported on those rumours in the past, uh, as well as the location of their next major roller coaster project, rumoured to be on the current Traumatica site, and then that will move to like a basement area of Europa Park or something like that. Uh, so there was a whole relocation rumours of the Halloween event because of the next major roller coaster coming in. Uh, so, big things going off Europa Park. You've got this refurbishment, you've got the um, coaster project rumour, you've got the Euro Mir refurbishment rumour. So, there's big things going off at Europa Park in the next few years, and I think this decade's going to be uh, a big one for Europa Park, especially in the next few years, like I said. So, uh, overall then, that concept title looks fantastic, the work currently being done at Pirates of Batavia looks fantastic, it's going to be open by the summer, hopefully we'll get a confirmed opening date as soon as possible, and when we do, we'll bring it to you here on Coast Shell. Hope you like the new thumbnails, by the way. Hope you like the new Theme Park Newsroom 2020 thumbnails. I thought I'd celebrate the new get decade in style uh, and do like a custom-made 2020 uh, decade thumbnail for all the series on the channel. Uh, the series will remain as it is. Uh, there won't be any new ones unless you guys want them. Uh, unless you guys have any suggestions on any new series. Bearing in mind we've got Coast Child Reviews, Coast Child Top 5, Coast Child Vlogs, uh, theme park predictions, theme park previews and reviews when we do our trip previews and trip reviews, uh, theme park newsroom of course, uh, Halloween updates, on and off ride videos, Q&A videos, uh, and there are two more as well, I'm sure you can find them, Close But Not Forgotten was one of them, uh, and there's one more <laughs> that slipped my mind. So there's 10 series on the channel, but if you can suggest any more series, then please comment down below, and if there's any people that agree with it and say yeah I'd like that series or more than one people comment that series I will look into doing that in the summer when I've got more time uh, but thank you very much for watching the first video filmed and recorded and uploaded in 2020 now the new intro I am still working on it it will be ready hopefully by maybe this weekend or next week fingers crossed um, so it should be ready very very soon um, it's just a case of putting the finishing touch on the intro now, so I hope you guys really like it. I put a lot of hard work into this, uh, and it'll be a great way to celebrate the new decade and celebrate 2020. Thank you very much for watching this theme park news from update on Pirates of Batavia at Europa Park. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, keep on the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.